In line segments D, E, and C, E are congruent to each other. In line segments A, D, and D, B are perpendicular to each other. In line segments B, C, and C, A are perpendicular to each other. We now have to prove that A, E, B is an isosceles triangle. So the first thing we can say is A, D, E is a right angle. And the reason for that is perpendicular lines form right angles. We can say the same thing about BCE. We can also say that DEA and CEB are congruent to each other because they are vertical angles. We now have to clarify that ADE and BCE are congruent to each other, and the reason for that is all of our angles are congruent. We have enough information to prove that ADE and BCE are, are congruent to each other, and the reason for that is angle side angle. We can also say that AE and BE, these line segments are corresponding to each other. And now we have enough information to prove that AEB is an isosceles triangle. And the reason for that is because the triangle has two congruent sides. Two congruent sides. And there we go.